This is the fifth video of eight that I'm going to be sharing here on YouTube for my full course Vue.js 3 Composition API with Pinia and Vite. In this video, we're going to be learning how to create custom directives with the Composition API, both local directives that are local to an individual component and global directives that can be used anywhere in our app. You can find a link to the whole playlist down in the description and you can grab the full course with my discount at dannys.link slash composition API. Vue.js is full of directives out of the box, such as vModel, vShow, vIf, etc. But we can create our own custom directives to add functionality to elements so that we can do something to an element once it's been created or mounted. A classic example is to create a directive which auto focuses an input field. So let's create a directive which auto focuses this input on our home view. So I'm going to jump to the home view in source, views, and home view, dot view, and Let's remind ourselves how we do this the options API way. So I'm going to uncomment the options API code. And in the options API, we had to add a directives option, which is an object. And we could place all of our directives in here. So let's create an autofocus directive. So we could call this autofocus. And again, we set this to an object. And inside here, we can add any hooks we want, such as created or mounted. So let's add a mounted hook. And we can get access to the element by passing in this L parameter. And then we can do something with that element. And in this case, we want to focus it. So we can do L.focus. And I'll save that. And we should now be able to use this directive on our input. And we just need to prepend whatever name we've used here with V dash. So if I jump up to the input, which is here, we should be able to just add V dash autofocus. And this should still work, even though we're using options API here. So if I reload the page now, you can see it's autofocused this input. So with the options API, all of our local directives had to be placed within this directives object, which again, as I keep saying with the options API, this often leads to related code being scattered across many lines of code. Whereas with the composition API, we can create a local directive anywhere within our setup function. So let's comment out our options API code and do this the composition API way. So I'll just comment out this script section and jump up to our composition API script section. And at the bottom, I'm going to add another one of these block comments called directives. And to create a directive, we need to create a const. And the name of this const needs to be camel case, and it needs to start with a lowercase v. So we might call this v auto focus. And whatever name we use here will determine the attribute that we actually use, although it will be converted into dash case like this. So v auto focus camel case becomes v dash auto focus when we use it on the template. Anyway, we want to set this to an object. And inside here, we can add a lifecycle hook, such as created. And we set this as a property, which is set to a method like this. And we can then do something with the element which we've added this directive to in this created hook. And we can also use all the other hooks as well, such as before mount and mounted and before update and updated before unmount and unmounted. But for this, let's use the mounted hook. And again, we can just use the same code we did before to focus this input, l.focus. And we've already added this directive to this input, so this should hopefully be working now. I'll just reload the page, and yet yeah, it's still auto-focusing this input. But now we have the freedom to place this local directive anywhere we want within our script section. Right now, we can only use this v autofocus directive on this particular component, homeview.view. If we want to be able to use this directive throughout our app on different components, then we can take our directive and put it into its own file and create a global custom directive. So let's jump to the file explorer and we'll create a folder where we can place our custom directives. So I'm going to create a new folder inside the 
source folder called directives. And I'm going to create a new file. And let's give this file the same name as our directive. So v autofocus.js. And by the way, if you have issues with your tab spacing here, because all of these files in this project that we created have a tab space of two spaces, you might find that when you create a new file, it's set to four spaces because that's the default in VS Code. If you want to fix that, just go to Code and Preferences and Settings. Uh, just change this tab size setting to two. And you may need to just delete this file and recreate it as well, this vAutofocus file. But anyway, let's move our directive into this file. So I'll jump back to homeview.view. Now we can just cut this code and I'll delete the uh, comment as well. And we can jump to the autofocus JS and just paste that in. And all we need to do to make this available to other files is export this const. So we can just add export at the start and save that. And now if we jump back to homeview.view, we can now import this directive and use it. So I'll just jump up to the import section and to import this directive we can just do import the autofocus from at slash directives slash v autofocus and we already have our directive added to this import so this should hopefully be working i'll reload the page and yeah it's still working except this is now a global directive that we can use anywhere. So just to demonstrate that, let's add a text area to our about page. So let's open up the about page, source views about view dot view. And we'll add a text area after this heading. And then we need to add our script setup section. And I'll add a comment for imports. And then after that, I'll just copy the import code from homeview.view and paste that in there. And we should now be able to use that here as well. So let's add it to this text area, the autofocus, save that, reload. And yeah, it's working here as well. So we now have a handy global directive, which we can use anywhere in our app. If you want to grab the full course with my discount, jump to dannys.link slash composition API. Oh, we still have three more videos to go in this YouTube series. Make sure you click subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any of them. And you can find a link to the whole playlist down in the description.